the order of operations. First step in the order of operations, the priority of the uh, operations would go to the grouping symbols. Now what we're looking at here would be anything like parentheses. You want to work your way from the inside out, right? Um, or distribute. Okay, if you can perform distribution to eliminate parentheses. Really, you're trying to eliminate the parentheses. Another thing would be brackets. Now, you'll usually see these when you have a set of parentheses inside of them, right? Nested parentheses type of brackets. Also, you may even see these if there's a double nest. And that would be what goes outside of brackets if you needed that type of level of grouping symbol. In some cases, absolute value symbols, right? Absolute value of A here. Okay, an absolute value symbol um, or even a fraction bar. If we have A over B. In other words, maybe you need to just simplify inside of the numerator or inside of the denominator. But the, nonetheless, that would be grouping or separating it from the rest of the problem, a part of the problem. Okay, so grouping symbols, you want to kind of try to eliminate the groups. Okay, now the next step would be exponents. Okay, carry out your exponents. Now, just to remind you exactly exponents, what is it? Remember this, that exponents indicate repeated multiplication. Okay, and... um. What it is, is there's some base raised to the n power. So what this is telling you to do is to multiply that base times itself, dot, 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 times itself, n times, right? However, whatever number n is, that's the number of times you actually would multiply that base times itself. Okay? If you have trouble with that, please get in touch with me, okay? I'm happy to help you guys, okay? All right, so um, just to kind of rock and give you an example really quickly, okay? An example of an exponent would be if I have 3 squared, okay? The 2 is telling me to multiply this base, the 3, twice. Oh, what did I do? Excuse me. 3 times 3, so that would be 9, okay? So, okay. Uh, let's see another one for you guys, just to drive it home would be if I have 2 to the 4th power. This is saying multiply this base times itself 4 times. Okay, so anyway, it becomes what? 16. Alright, so let's continue. Okay. okay. On that note, you definitely want to clear up any exponential forms that you have. Okay. Once you get all the exponents carried out or cleared away, then you go to multiply and or divide from left to right. Okay, we saw that before in, a, in the previous example. Okay, so as you come to it, that's what you do. Okay, remember you can only multiply or divide or even add or subtract for that matter, only two at a time. Okay, so that's kind of another reason we have to have the, this precedence, this priority. Uh, to help us with that fact. So anyway, you multiply and or divide from left to right, starting on the left and right. Remember, you have no more grouping symbols, no more exponents, and now it should only be multiplication, division, addition, subtraction type of things. So what you do is you handle multiplication and or division before the addition, subtraction, which brings me to the fourth item. Number four, add and or subtract from left to right. Okay, once you're done with this step, you've added or and or subtracted from left to right. Left to right's a big deal in those last two things, okay? Once that's done, you should be hit, you should have an answer at that point. And so let's just take it in a quick example of, of one more example. <laughs> a quick look at one more example, and then we'll be done for this lesson. For now, you'll be able to practice. Okay, next example, simplify 7 plus, in parentheses, 1 plus 3, close parentheses, to the power of 2, then divided by 8. 
Okay, if you recall, the order of operations told us to work in through inside of any grouping symbols first, okay? So what we have here inside the parentheses, we have some grouping symbols that we could totally go to first. So we have this 1 plus 3 that we could look at first, okay? And so what is 1 plus 3? Okay, that is going to be 4, okay? So we'll have what? Carry down your equal sign, bring down 7 plus, and we have what? Now 4, and what's inside those parentheses is being squared, so the 4 is going to be squared. If you bring down your divided by 8, and let's see where do we go from here now. We're done with our grouping symbols. Next level would be taking care of our exponent. And so that means we want to take care of the 4 squared. And on that note, then we go to bring down an equal sign, bring down your 7, bring down anything you haven't done yet, right? And the 4 squared is now 16. Bring down your division and your 8. So now we have to decide, do we add or do we do the division first? And who has the priority? Multiply, divide from left to right. Okay, so what then do we do with this addition? We just bring it down. Remember, you can only multiply or divide two things at a time. So really, you're looking at just the 16 and the uh, 8 right now. So we're looking at the 16 divided by 8 before the 7 plus, okay? So now, let's go for it, and we'll have the 7 plus... And now we say that 8 goes into 16 twice, right? 2 times 8 is 16, so 16 divided by 8 is 2. And finally, we only have two items left with one operation. We like that, right? That means that 7 plus 2 is going to be 9. And that's our final answer.